Hey friends, so today's workout is cardio flow. And um, I think it can be a little bit misleading because you need no equipment and um, it's like a really short amount of time, you think. But this has been a very um, deceptive workout for me and it actually is my hardest workout. Um, I struggle the most with it and many times I have cried through this workout. I've had to press pause and play, rewind um, so many times that it's just been really difficult for me. But um, I have figured out a way to make this work. And so what I've done is I have written down the order of the workouts and then how the reps progress over the week. And I keep this in my 80 day obsession binder and I just pull it out every time we have cardio flow. So. Basically, there's 10 exercises that you do on this day, and they progress um, like such. First, you'll do inchworms. Then you'll, for your second round, you do inchworms, then spider push-ups. For your third round, you do inchworms, spider push-ups, diamond jumps. So you keep starting back at inchworms, and then you add an exercise each time. So it's kind of like, um, like exponential growth of craziness. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what the exercises are so you can write those down and then, um, I'll show you how I do modifications for them. All right. So first is inchworms, then spider pushups, then diamond jumps, then flamingos, then duck walks, then gorillas, then step throughs, then bears. Then you do what's called crab tricep dip kick. <laughs> and then the last one is mule to frogs. You guys, this is basically a zoo. It's craziness. It's a crazy zoo. Um, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So I let the video play in the background and then I keep my printout out and, uh, or my handwritten notes out and then I just go along. So the first exercise is inchworms. Um, the first round that I did, um, 80 day obsession, I really wasn't able to do any of these. So let me show you what inchworm looks like normally. So you're in a standing position. You come down, you walk your hands out to a plank. Then you walk them back, you stand up, you do it again. My modification for inchworm is from your knees, walk your hands out, and it's just your modified plank. So you walk them in and out. So after inchworms, you're gonna do spider push-ups. A non-modified spider push-up is from plank. You bring your knee forward and you do a push-up. Back, other leg, push-up, back. So for me, I think a good modification is just to do a regular modified push-up. If you want, you could practice bringing one leg up, but keeping the other knee on the ground. Push-up. Push-up. So that's your modified spider push-up. The next exercise is a diamond jump. And I actually think that the modification that they show on the video is really helpful. But a diamond jump is just your wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. You wanna be in a deep squat if you can the whole time. And you could actually just walk these little squats out instead of doing the jump part. So I'd remove the jump and then just walk it. The next exercise is flamingo. If you need, hold a chair so you have balance for this. Um, let's bring my chair over. So don't grip it, but just like rest your hand on it and then flamingo. You can tap your foot if you need for extra balance. Flamingo, and then you switch. One side, guys, is going to be stronger than the other. Eventually, you're kind of hoping that you're able to either put your hands here or here or here, but most of them put them here, and you want to be able to always try and do it without the modification first, but so flamingos are pretty easy. Duck walk is, I always laugh because I do this one with the kids and we go quack, quack when we do it, but duck walk is just a like a side lunge. Stay as low as you can, okay? And stay in that squat if you can the whole time. Then we do gorillas. You guys, gorillas are really hard. It took me the whole round of 80 day obsession to even figure out how to do the motion. And I still have to like really think about it. But I think a good modification is just to 
get in a low squat and just do a side squat. But gorillas, <laughs> don't laugh at me, but gorillas kind of look like this. You put your hands down. I feel so silly when I do gorillas. Okay, then step throughs. You guys, I find step throughs still to be really, really hard. I feel like it looks like a break dance move. I can't do the real move yet, but um, I just get down, get into plank. And if you can't do the next part, just stay in plank. But you step one leg over and lift your hand. This is like super modification because they like, I don't even know what they do. They do like a hop. I can't believe I just did that. I almost died. I got overzealous. Okay. The next exercise is called bears. And this is, um, I kind of like this one. It reminds me of one of the workouts from Shift Shop. In fact, I think it, they do this in Shift Shop. So, um, I like to have a mat down for my hands because we have hardwood floors, but basically you get up like this and you just walk your hands over. Okay. If that's too hard, that's fine. I think a good modification for that is to see if one, you could just hold yourself up like this. Do you see how like my back's flat? I want you to rotate around. Like I'm up on my toes, my back is flat, and I'm hovering with my knees. Okay, you guys, I'm like that. Um, the other thing that I find really annoying is that they transition really smoothly between each of these exercises, and I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Okay, after bears, we do crab tricep dip kick. Okay, so you probably remember crab from when you were in um, like elementary school, but basically, this is like your crab position, you know? You guys remember this. So they want you to do a dip and then kick. Kick, woo <laughs> almost fell just that. Okay, so modification I do is just crab. I hold it for 10 seconds. If you can add dips to this, that's cool. Cool. Okay, that'd be great if you could do 10 little dips or four little dips. And then um, to add the kick in, I'll just get on my bottom. Like no shame in my game, okay? So that's the crab tricep dip kick. Okay, exercise 10. She leaves the hardest for the last. Okay, this is mule to frog. Guys, there is no way I could do what they do. Like legitimately watch the video, it's amazing. Okay, so mule basically, they want you like, you know how mules will like kick their legs back at people, like they do a little kick? So that's what they want you to do. So you're standing here and really to start out, this is like, beginning one two just kick your legs back and then do a frog jump then come back push each leg up the next progression for mule to frog would be to actually get a little bit of air time so you could just like jump or you could jump with one leg at a time like that um eventually they want you to try and get higher and higher with that jump. I have a really hard time with that. I'm a big girl. It's a lot of, a lot of weight to get up in the air, guys. So um, even if you're not a big person, it's definitely a different type of exercise, being able to like balance yourself. It's almost like an intense sort of like handstand. A lot of them get like totally vertical. So here is like the very best. <laughs> Here's the very best mule I can do. And I have just finished my first round of 80 day obsession and this is my second round. So here's what I got. I come here and I kick <laughs> and I kick. And then I'll switch and go the other leg too. Obviously I'm stronger on the other side. I'll do all my mules first. So like four sets of mules and then I'll do some frog jumps. If you can't jump, just tap it out. <sighs> Cardio flow is hard, but don't be afraid to modify it. Like just push through. We don't have to be as awesome as them. We just have to be more awesome than we were yesterday. You guys, you got this. Say a prayer, kick some butt. 
write out the exercises. Do it at your own pace. Let's go.